Hey guys, we're gonna open a matchbox um, retail box of 50 cars. As you can see there, I just purchased this on eBay. It's called a GGK00 matchbox box. I'm just gonna um, open it up here and see what we have. I'm not sure if it's uh, multiples or all if they're all individual cars. We will soon find out. Just to show you guys the packaging, it's pretty good. Very compactly packaged in there, as you can see. There looks like there's no duplicates, just by first glimpse here and here we go the first car we got here is a rumble raider doesn't look like it's licensed but uh, it's alright looks a little fantasy to me um, but it's not a bad model next car up here is a sand shredder once again, not my favorite model, but um, it's just one of those things. Okay, here's a cool model. It's the Meter Maid. There's been several versions of this. I quite like it. It's a nice one to collect. It's just the back of it. And now we have a Tractor King. Once again, I quite like this model. I think it's uh, quite well done, very collectible. See the back of it. Oh, it's not focusing. And then just the back of the card, so you guys can see this is number 44 of 125. It's uh, a licensed product of 2017. I think you can see it, if you can focus in there. Pretty cool card. Here's one I'm not uh, that I don't necessarily love. It's uh, it's called the RSQ18 Tank. Once again, it's just a little bit too fantasy for me, uh, too toy-like, which is silly because they are toys. But uh, I like my Matchbox cars to be realistic. All right, next we have a cool Subaru WRX STI Police, and it's some sort of a Japanese model, as you can see. It's got some uh, Japanese writing on there. It's, I guess it's Chinese characters. Um, very cool, I kind of like it. That's the front of it. And the bottom. That's my favorite one so far. Next we have the Hydro Cruiser. I'm okay with this looking a little toyish, but uh, it'd be interesting to know if it actually floats. I'm not sure how I'm gonna open this one. Um, it's not one of the ones I collect, but still I think it's, a, it's one of the nicer boats that they have. Not sure if you can see it, it focuses in. This is number what is this? This is number 10 of 20. And the back it says it's number 97 of 125. Just to go back onto the police cruiser, it says 11, sorry, 14 of 30 at the front. And at the back it says 67 of 125. That one's still my favorite. Oh, here's a cool one. This is the 1970 Datsun 510 Rally, and it's a beauty. Um, it's really well designed, the insignia is really nice. On top there, there's a roof rack with a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, they've made several versions of this car. The graphics at the back of this is really nice, and the, it says 15 of 20 at the front, and at the back it says 108 of 125. This is also a really nice model, very collectible. All right, next we have an Austin minivan, which is 
very cool. You can see the front of it. It's uh, number eight of 20. And I should say these, this, this box, it says 65th anniversary. Um, I just noticed that. And at the back, it says 27 of 125. Once again, it's the Austin minivan. And there is something written on there, but I just can't read it. It's really small, but once it is an awesome car, very collectible, uh, really well. It's a really nice casting. And the card is really nice as well. Very collectible. Almost don't want to open it. It's so nice. Okay. Next we have a Ford Expedition. Quite like it. It's a, uh, it's a nice casting. It says uh, 29 of 35 at the front and it is 110 of, oops, it's not focusing in there, 110 of 125 at the back. Okay, so next we have a Ford panel van. Once again, it's a nice casting. It's uh it says Speedy Express on the side. I quite like it. And it's uh, 60 of 125 at the back and at the front it says 15 of 20 and it's part of the MBX service um, packs. All right, this one's really nice. Um, next we have a Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe. I hope you can see the front of it there. It's actually really, really quite a nice vehicle. It's uh, it's it's a dark, very dark, I want to say metallic gray. Um, it looks awesome. It's uh, 5 of 35 of the MBX Road Trip Series and 5 of 125 at the back here. And it does say L35 there. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I don't know if you can see it or not. Actually, they, they all say they have a little thing there that says L35. I think the glare doesn't let you see it, but uh, all the cards here do say it. Once again, one of my favorites so far. Ooh, here's another cool one. So next we have the 62 Volkswagen Beetle. Look at that. What a beauty. This has been done in several colors. Um... Never gets old for me. It's just a beautifully casted vehicle. Um, it says 12 of 35 with the MBX road trip at the front. And at the back, it says 16 of 125. I'm sure I saw some that said 127. Here. No, it's all 125. All right, here is one that's, it's okay. It's a, it's a Hallicat. Actually, it does look kind of cool. Um, it's not my favorite casting, but it's uh, not my least favorite casting either. So this is a part of the MBX Rescue uh, pack. It's 13 of 30 at the front, and it's 66 of 125 at the back. It's it's I would say it's cool. It's not one that I'm going to collect, but uh, it's 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 not a bad casting. Oh, here's another really nice one. It's the 33 Plymouth PC Sedan. So I've got this in a couple of colors now. Um, this one's really nice. It says police matchbox on the side. The package is really nice. It says five of 30. Once again, 65th anniversary. And it's uh, 55 of 125. Beauty. Can't go wrong with that. All right, next we have the Land Rover 90. Quite nice. It's fairly wide, as you can see. Interesting green. It's uh, it's 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 a neat color. I mean, there's nothing you can. And it does say. Oh, it does say sixty. I think it says sixty fifth anniversary at the back there. I don't know if you can, I can focus that in, but it's. Uh, so it signifies just like the packaging does, Matchbox's 65th anniversary. It's um, it's a nice casting. There's nothing more I can say. It's got some weight to it. It's uh, number 18 of 20 of the MBX Off-Road Series and 
It's 118 of 125. Okay, here we have an acre maker is what it's called, which is, it's actually a very cool casting. I'm not sure about the colors. I'm assuming it's some kind of a farming vehicle. Um, I just don't think it's a farming color, um, but it's, it's cool. I mean, I would have rather have seen it in yellow or green or uh, some other color, but it's, it's a decent vehicle. It's well casted. It's not as heavy as the Land Rover was, that's for sure. Land Rover is a lot heavier than it, so I'm guessing there's a lot of plastic in this. Um, it's eight, 14 of 20. It's part of the MBX construction series. Um, it does have a tow, so there might be something that it can tow. I hope it's in the same colors as this model. Once again, it's the Acre Maker, which is a really cool name. And it's uh, number 50 of 125. All right, we're not even halfway through yet. Okay, here's some interesting ones. So next we have the Ford F-350 Super Duty. There's a lot of detail in this casting. Um, I don't love it. It's, once again, it's a police vehicle. It seems quite noisy uh, with all the decals. But it's not a bad casting. It's it's definitely not my favorite, but it's uh, it's not bad. I mean, I think if it wasn't as noisy, it'd be, uh, it'd be cool. It's, uh, once again, a part of the MBX Rescue Series. It's number four of 30. And it's uh, 54 of 125. Once again, this is the Ford F-350 Super Duty. I'd say it's a 7 out of 10. So, so quite a cool casting. Okay, next is something called the cl Cliffhanger. Which is actually kind of a cool casting. It's, um, it's a little bit fantasy. Um, not sure if it's licensed or not. It just doesn't seem to be quite in scale with some of the other models. But once again, it's, you know, it's not bad. It's very light. So once again, probably has to do with the fact that it's mostly plastic. It's 18, nine, sorry, 19 of 20 of the MBX construction series. It's called the Cliffhanger and it is 117 of 125. Okay, this is uh, a really cool casting. It's uh, a military Jeep. It's uh, a 1943 Jeep Willys. It's actually really, the casting is excellent. Um, the detail is phenomenal. It's uh, very playable, very collectible. It's one of the best Jeeps I've seen Matchbox do in a really long time. It's got a bit of weight to it, which is fantastic. It's part of the MBX Rescue Series. It's 29 of 30. Um, it's 121 of 125 at the back. Yeah, it's, it's just a really nice vehicle. There's nothing else you can say about it. Okay, so this is a cool one. It's part of the... INC series that Matchbox has been doing. They've done quite a few of these now. Uh, it's just the first or second one that I have. Uh, it's called the Ma MBX Cavator. It's part of the MBX construction series. It's number three of 20. And I'm, it's just a, it's a nice vehicle. Probably not one I'm gonna collect uh, unless I decide to do the INC construction and put all the vehicles together that they've produced. It's number 33 of 125. I'd say it's a six and a half or seven out of 10. Okay, here's one that looks a little fantasy for me. It's called the Arctic Thunder. It does nothing for me, but it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where kids would probably like it. It looks quite playable. Um, 
It's part of the MBX Off-Road Series. It's number 8 of 20 in that series, and it says 95 of 125 at the back. So in front of it. A lot of cars here. We're not even halfway yet. Ooh, here's a cool one. All right. I got three of them here. I'll start with the least cool and head my way to the coolest. So this one is called the Attack Track. It's a neat vehicle. Um, it's actually got a little bit of weight to it. I'm not sure if you can fire that missile. It'd be cool if you could. Um, it's all right. I'd say it's a six out of 10, six and a half out of 10. It's MBX Rescue Series. It's 26 out of 30. Apologize for the planes overhead, guys. It's, uh, it's number 83 of 125 here. All right, next we have the Ford Bronco. There's quite a few versions of this that Matchbox has done over the years. It's got a tow hook at the back. It's num It's part of the MBX Road Trip Series, 31 of 35. It's uh, 112 of 125 at the back. It's a cool car. I like it. I collect this series. I like the paintwork and the insignia. It's pretty cool. Okay, here's another very nice vehicle. It is the 2016 Chevy Colorado Extreme. And it, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it says Chevrolet at the back. So it's very cool, a lot of detail. Love the blue windows with the orangey paintwork. It's like, is it a, it's a metallic orange. The wheels are perfect for the casting um, as a roof rack. And there's a tire in the back. You probably can't see it because of the glare, but it's uh, it's a really well done vehicle. It's part of the MBX Off-Road Series. It's number six of 20 at the front uh, and 92 of 125 at the back. Very cool series, very cool vehicle. So that's, uh, that's half of it. There's, uh, so we've looked at 25 cars and now we're gonna look at the remaining 25 and see what, uh, what Matchbox is, uh... okay, cool. All right, so next we have, oh, I like this. this. Next we have a 2014 Corvette Stingray police vehicle. They made several versions of this. I know there's one in 2020 that they just made. It's actually very well casted. I really like it. It's um, 10 of 30 at the front. It's part of the Matchbox Rescue series. It's a must have for any uh, Corvette fan and it's definitely a must have for anyone that's collecting police vehicles. It's number 62 of 125 at the back. It's, uh, I, I, th I love it. I love the um, color of the rims. Um, it's just a fantastic looking vehicle. Next we have a, what does that say? Plowerizer, Plowerizer. It's quite nice. Um, it's not very heavy, so I'm assuming it's a lot of plastic in there. It's part of the MBX series. It's number 13 of 20. And it's uh, 51 of 125 at the back. It's uh, it's not my favorite, but it's uh, it's not bad. I'd say like a six and a half out of ten. I wish there was no more metal to it. Okay, I quite like this. Uh, it's the ski duster. What is that? Skidster. It's quite a nice vehicle. They made uh, lots of versions of this. Um, this one's actually one of my favorite ones that I've seen to date. I like the colors. Insignia is really nice. It's part of the MBX construction series. It's number six of 20. And it's 41 of 125 at the back. It's quite a nice little vehicle. And for a smaller vehicle, it's got a bit of weight to it. So, which is always really nice with that box. All right. Next we have the 1995 custom Chevy van. And this has been customized. It's actually <laughs> quite a bit of detail on it. And uh, it's got quite a bit of weight to it. So 
it's I think it's one of the few is it, is it a plastic bottom yeah it looks like a plastic bottom but um, there's also quite a bit of metal to it because it is quite heavy and it does say uh, custom 95 Chevy van on the side the wheels are really cool and there's a spare tire at the back uh, looks like Matchbox has gone all out on this one it's a very well designed vehicle it says MBX road trip uh, number 26 of 35 at the front and it's uh, 102 of 125 very cool car so you can see it all right next we have the 2016 Fiat 500X seen a couple of models of this in 2019 or was it 2020 there's a blue one pretty sure I saw another orange one in one of the nine packs I bought this year I'm not sure if it's exactly the same car I'm not sure if it there's uh, been some small changes somewhere on it but this is a pretty I mean I, I mean I don't love the casting but I think it's uh, it's a cool looking car I'd say seven out of ten it's one of 20 of the MBX off-road series and 12 of 125 at the back here. Ooh, just focus that in. It's the front. Let's see what else we got in there. Okay, next we got a Hummer. The exact name is a Hummer H2 SUV Concept. Got a few different versions of this. It's quite wide. Interesting colors. It's part of the MBX construction series. It's detailed. Quite like it. It's uh, number eight of 20 at the front and 43 of 125. All right, next we have a vehicle that doesn't necessarily appeal to me. Um, it's the GHEO Predator. It's part of the MBX Off-Road Series. It's number 12 of 20 at the front. Show you the front. It's an unusual looking vehicle. Um, it'd be cool to have one in real life. It looks like something you could have a lot of fun in. And uh, it's 103 of 125. Cool colors. I like the uh, combination of the red with the red rims. Okay, next we have a Mazda. So this is a Mazda CX-5. Doesn't focus in there. There's a lot of glare. I quite like this. It's um, really well done. Castings. Decent, it's not the best, but uh, quite a nice model nevertheless. The windows are a very cool, I'm going to say emerald green. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's um, part of the MBX road trips. It's 24 of 35. And it's 93 of 125 at the back. Cool car. Okay, next we have MBX. Sorry, we have the... Badlander and it's part of the Matchbox construction series it's number 18 of 25 it's, it's like a it's a it's a gold color it's goldish I would say and it says MBX Explorer Club on the side I don't love it it's, uh, it's got yellow or an amber colored window and there's something in the back there. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not loving it. I think it's a 6 out of 10. And it's number 114 of 125 and 18 of 20 at the front. Okay, next we have, I like this. It's an old school car. It's a Volkswagen Type 34 Carmen Ghia. Very well done, it's well casted. It says MBX road trip, 15 of 35. It's a convertible. 
It's actually a really nice casting. Number plate at the back is yellow, and it's 21 of 125. I'd say 7.5 out of 10. It's, it's really well done. Great job. Okay, here's uh, ARV-01 to MBX Rescue Series. Does very little for me, but uh, here you go. I'm just going to show you the side. It says 16 of 30 at the front, and it's part of the MBX Rescue Series, and it's vehicle number 70 of 125 in this series. Okay, this one I've seen a few versions of. It's the Sonora Shredder. It's part of the MBX Off-Road Series. It's 14 of 20. I've seen it in orange in 20, I don't know if it was 2019 or 2020, but it's, uh, I mean, it's it's not one of my favorites, but it's it's just one of those th ones where it's it's neither good nor bad. I think it's quite playable if you're a kid. As far as collectability, it's, it's a little bit too much plastic for me, but it's an interesting vehicle. Interesting vehicle. And it's number 107 of 125 and 14 of 20 at the front. Okay, next we have a cool vehicle. It's called the Garbage Gulper. It's the front of it. I'm not sure if that moves. I'd be surprised if it did. It doesn't say moving parts or anything on it, so I think it's just, it is what it is. Which is a shame because it covers most of the front if it doesn't move. It might move, just not sure until I open it. It says number 4 of 20 in the front. It's part of the MBX service vehicles and it's number 17 of 125. I'm really not sure how I feel about that. I think I like it a lot more if that arm actually moves the garbage. Uh... All right, not too many left here. Okay. Okay, so next we have something called the X Canner. It's part of the MBX rescue team. It's one of 30. It looks very similar in terms of colors of the garbage gulper that we just looked at. It's a decent vehicle. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's one of 30, as I said, and it's 36 of 125. Let's get the last few out of here. Oh, there's quite a few still left. All right, okay, so now we have another it looks like a military vehicle, and I actually quite like it. I, I don't think I've seen this before. It's, uh, it's part of the MBX construction team, but it's definitely a military green. Um, I quite like it. It says the International CXT. It's very nice. And it's, uh, it's a slightly different green from the Jeep Willys. I wish it was the same color. But still, it's, it's, it's a nice vehicle. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.5, 8 out of 10. It's number 22 of 125, and it's number 1 of 20 of the MBX Construction Series. I wish Matchbox would stick to, like, one color when it comes to these construction vehicles. And maybe, like, stick to a theme every year. So here's another cool car. It's the 70, 1970 Plymouth Cuda. I have it in yellow. Uh, from nine, from nine, 2020. Um, it's not the nicest casting. It just feels a bit boxy to me. Um, and the angles just don't seem quite right. But still quite collectible. Um, it's number 13 of 35 of the MBX road trips. And it's number 19 of 125. Let me know if you like this car. It's a, it's a cool car. The real car is actually pretty cool. Um, this one just seems, it's it the casting just seems slightly off. I'm not sure exactly why. 
Okay, next we have a 1990 Volkswagen Golf Country. And this is a very cool casting. I've got this in a few different colors. Um, I quite like it. It's part of the MBX road trip. It's 25 of 35. And at the back, it does say 99 of 125. Okay, this is the Jeep Wrangler. It's a, it's a reddish brown, very cool insignia on the side. I love the wood paneling, nice hubs. It's got a bit of weight to it. It's got a tow hook at the back. It's number 22 of 35 of the MBX road trips. This is one of my favorite cars we've seen today. Um, and at the back, it does say it's number 88 of 125. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there it is. Cool. All right, next we have the Ford F550 Super Duty. And this is one of my favorite versions of this car. In 2020, I think it was just all yellow, like a yellowy green. But this one's really cool, very collectible. It's uh, part of the MBX Rescue. It's uh, three of 30 at the front, and it is number 45 of 125 at the back. Very, very cool vehicle, I, I really like it. Good choice in terms of the hubs and the wheels. It's very cool. Okay, next we have the, the 1975 Chevy Stepside. It's an interesting color. It's uh, quite a nice van. I wish it wasn't plastic at the front and metal. Um, doesn't have too much weight to it, but it's heavier than some, most of the vehicles. It's an 18 of 35. MBX road trips and at the back it says 28 of 125 yeah another one I just can't decide on I just feel like the wheels are not big enough for the car it just seems like the proportions are slightly off it looks okay on camera but when I look at it um, with my eye it just something about it just doesn't seem right I feel like the wheels should be bigger All right, next we have a 2017 Honda Civic hatchback. It's actually not a bad casting. It's not the best casting I've seen. Um, I think this is a bit of a boring color. It's sort of a, it's, it's a pale blue, like a gray blue. And the casting itself is not the greatest, but the, the artwork's actually quite good. It's quite detailed. You can see the front and the back. It's number six of 35 of the MBX road trips. And it's number seven of 125 at the back. I'd say a good seven out of 10. Seven and a 